Welcome Aries. We are going to be looking at um, what it is that you need guidance with right now using Soul Truth Self-Awareness Deck. The Oracle of the Seven Energies and Osho is Zen Tarot. Now, of course, my fave. Okay, Aries. Just not sure how many cards we're meant to be getting out of this Soul Truth. Um, so I'll let, I'll let Spirit decide on that. Three. We're getting three. Okay. <clears throat> First card here, Aries, is am I on the right path? Is this a question you have been asking? It says here, sometimes we second guess what we are doing. We lose trust in the process and question if we are even on the right path at all. Know this, you are on the right path. Keep going, keep believing, keep remembering that you made a soul contract that you are currently fulfilling in every area of your life. Even if you can't see it, that doesn't mean it's not real. So the action for today, or actually I guess over the next couple of weeks, because we do have three cards here, search for all the ways you are aligned with your soul's purpose. The signs will appear. Let this newfound trust fuel your next steps. Okay, so let's work with this card first before we go to the next two, eh? Yeah, we're doing it that way. Okay. Um, tell me more about this card here for Aries, please. Am I on the right path? You know, the thing is, Aries, that it would be good to ask for signs, okay, to show you. We've got quieting the mind. Yep, so that's going to give you smoke and mirrors. Where there is smoke, there is fire. Everything is there to mirror us, right? So looking at what is going on for you. Looking at what is going on for you. And seeing how that is, I'm sorry, I'm getting the deck smuddled up here. Um, seeing how, what it is that you can learn from that, seeing um, in what way, whatever is being mirrored to you, particularly by other people or by your circumstances in life, how is that a reflection of what is going on in your mind? And we have... Um, also exposed and revealed here. This is this. I don't know. You know what I get the feeling here, Aries, is that something is going, you're going to see something really clearly. At the moment, it feels like you're trying to see something really clearly, but there's smoke in the way. There's sort of this smoke screen, potentially that, you may have actually put up yourself because you didn't want to see the truth. But something's going to come clear to you. Something is going to come clear to you. Maybe it's seeing why it is that you're on this path. Just had two cards come out here and nothing else is coming out. I want to just go with this. Okay, we've got these two cards here and I feel as though, particularly for some of you, if this is um, actually 
to do with the relationship here. I feel like there's going to be some sort of ending, okay, or there has been some sort of ending. And um, that opens the way for something new to begin. I feel like it's very important for you, Aries, to ensure that you are making sure that you're taking care of your own tree. That you're nurturing it, that you're watering it. Not actually focusing on what anyone else is doing with theirs. So this is really about their life, right? Um, just looking after your life right now. Even if you are in a relationship, making sure that you're looking after what it is that you need, making sure that you're clear with what you um, will tolerate and what you won't, making sure that you're looking after yourself in every aspect of your life, physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, everything, financially, you know, energetically because when you start doing that Aries whatever is not a, a match for you will fade away and when you start to give that to yourself the smoke screen will drop and you'll be able to see things a lot clearer so you know quieting the mind will allow you to get into alignment and allow you to connect with your higher self, which will potentially help things to become a lot clearer, okay? And anything that you have been burying will come up to be dealt with and um, and you'll be able to see how this has all played out the way it was meant to and for the reason that it has. Because maybe this has been for you to grow <clears throat> in a particular di direction that you otherwise would not have. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so this next card here. Am I getting enough rest to restore my energy and fully show up to my life? Yeah, see, this is great, right? Talking about looking after yourself. This is perfect. Okay, it says here, you are the asset. You are the asset, right? Okay. This body is your vehicle. Notice how your body is feeling. How much sleep are you getting? And what you can do to help your body rest. So <clears throat> your action, Aries, is take a bath or put on some lavender essential oil. Go to bed ridiculously early or give yourself a time out today. Notice your body thanking you. Today's mantra. The more I give myself permission to rest, the more I can contribute yeah and see this is also what quieting the mind is about as well um so that you know that part of that is that rest right very cool okay so tell me more about this you are the asset i like that you are the asset do you believe that how are you looking after your body? This is what I said before. It's not only about rest. <clears throat> it's about physical exercise. It's about what are you consuming here, Aries? Is it good for you? Is it making you tired? Like if you eat something, notice how you feel within half an hour afterwards. If you feel like you could fall asleep, it's not rejuvenating you. else for this card for Aries okay the roses kiss hmm 
interesting. There's a, many aspects to the rose, right? The beauty of it, the colour of it, the smell of it. It's also the thorns. So what part of the rose are you kissing? Is, is it the beauty that is kissing your life or is it the thorns? Wish upon a star. Be mindful of your thoughts, Aries. Be mindful what it is that you are manifesting. Be very, very mindful, I feel. Taking the time out to meditate, right? This is another way to rest and quieten your mind. And we have this card here, Close Encounters. <clears throat> you see, this is another 10. Interesting. Why is this jumping out at me? We've got a ladybird or a ladybug on the on the rose here, and we've got the butterflies here. So that might be significant for some of you because I'm not in sh entirely sure why that's jumping out at me. But the thorns of the roses are. And the fact that this butterfly is trapped in a cage here. I feel like there's something hurting you or holding you back. Close encounters. It's like, it's like there's this need to get into alignment so that you are... Not missing anything that is meant for you. Because when we're out of alignment, we miss the signs, we miss the synchronicities because we're not looking for them. Right? There's, there's also this feeling of a transformation that is either happening right, right now, but oh, I feel like it's potentially at the beginning. It is something that could happen. So I feel like really drop down into your heart here, Aries. Um, take the time to take that rest that you need to rejuvenate. And maybe this is what is needed for this transformation, right? Just like when the caterpillar goes into the cocoon, it needs that time to transform itself, to be able to come up and out as something newly emerged from the cocoon. So what is it that you want to create for your life? Right? Really, really go into your heart. Okay. Tell me more about this for Aries, please. Okay. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. I'll just pick this one up off the floor, Aries. Okay, Aries. Um, the first card that jumped out here is this, um, the outsider. This is really interesting because look at this, this gate here, this, this cage is shut, right? Look at this. Feeling like the outsider here. Not being allowed in. Was this you on the outside here? But I don't feel like it is. I feel like it's this, this emerging, this emerging Still looking to somewhere that is done and dusted. It's not bringing you harmony. It's not bringing you the harmony that you would like to have. This wish upon a star, this dream that you have, you want it, but I feel like where you're searching for it is not the place where you will find it. Interesting. We have aloneness here. This is about you going out and search for you. Not someone else, but you. Right? And this could even be, you know, relating to a, um, a work situation where you 
come to know yourself so well that you know what you will and won't tolerate. And when you won't tolerate something, it's not a drama, it's not a big deal. You just go, yeah, no, thank you. That's all good. I'm okay. Hmm. You see, this is about this courage, right? Of walking this journey, growing, growing into who you truly are, Aries. And the thorns, the thorns that are there, are there to teach us. And it's hard, and sometimes it's painful, but we learn so much from it. This flower has learned so much from growing from between these rocks here, as opposed to what it would have done had it had been planted in a um, garden with the nutrients and the nurturing that it generally needs to grow. It's really interesting. I feel like you're being watched over. You're being watched over by someone who has passed. Aries. By someone who has passed, you're being watched over. So, and, and I have a feeling you probably know who that is. So call on them. Call on them in those times that you need it. I also have these two cards here and I feel like there is definitely something, this guilt, the word guilt is jumping out at me. Usually it's the mind stuff that jumps out at me, which could very well be the case for you, Aries, but it's the guilt. There's something about guilt and it is incredibly intense. Um, and I want to say don't use any negative emotions to keep you in a situation that is unhealthy for you, okay? If you know that you are meant to move on or move away from it, you need to do so. Okay. Okay. What if it was easy? What if it was easy? Aries, what would you do then? What if it wasn't hard? What if there weren't thorns? What if it didn't hurt? What would you do? This says it doesn't have to be hard. Call in the universe, the stars, the angels, and all of their powers. Find the solutions. Sorry, find the solution. Would you take the next step if it were easy? It's time to expect ease. Call in grace and receive guidance. You are supported. Yes, by this past loved ones, by your guides, angels, grace, source, Whatever you want to call it. Okay, so today's soul action. List 10 possible ideals for your soul's current calling. Lean into ease. It's here. You just have to say yes to it. Yeah, love that. I love that, Aries. Tell me more about this for Aries, please. You just have to say yes. And that's just it. I suppose it's like making up your mind. If you decide it's going to be hard, it's going to be hard. If you decide it's going to be easy, it's going to be easy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, man. Let it go. Let it go. We've got the Oracle's Gift and we have the Storyteller. Yes, Aries, I love this. Okay, so this could be very well a matter of the heart for sure for some of you, right? Um, but I also feel like there's some cords that need to be cut here. Something needs to be undone. Okay, and definitely let go of for sure, Aries. The Oracle Gift. The, I feel like when I first saw this, so I'm going to talk about it. What are you filling up your cup with, right? What energy are you putting into your life? What effort are you putting into you? Are you putting in the same amount of energy and effort into your cup as what you would are 
into someone else's? Or are you helping someone else fill their cup and neglecting yours? Okay, this is about you, Aries, and I think it's time for you to start looking at that. All right, and the storyteller, yes, look at this. I love this. This is about unlocking a whole new chapter in your life for you to write it, not anyone else, not for the story to be about anyone else, but for it to be about you, Aries, because you are the one who is living your life. You and you alone. So... Yeah, <laughs> let me get this card. Oh. Oh. Okay, the dream. Sorry, I should turn the camera off for that. Oh, I didn't. The dream, Aries. This is what it is. This is the story that you want to write, but this is still about someone else. What are you? What about you, Aries? You. Right? Make it about you. Make you the dream of your life. You know, your dream boat person. Fall in love with yourself. There it goes again. I'm definitely going to turn the camera off for that. I just had to pick that up. I didn't even know what it is. Wow. Okay, I'm going to get this card. Come on. Yep. Okay, integration. Yeah, this is you bringing in all aspects of yourself. Like I said before, you know, looking at what you're doing for yourself physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, everything, right? All aspects, okay, bringing that all into one. Working on your heart space, right? What is it that you want here, Aries? Okay, yeah, yeah see, let it go. Let go of the stress, let go of the sorrow, okay? Let go. Um, because this there's there's something there for you. See, ah, so yes, there's a connection that is there for you, Aries, but you've got to take the time for yourself to lead the way because you're not going to see it, you are going to miss it, and it is right there, right there. But because you're too busy focusing on in the wrong direction, you can't see it yet. But this new slate is there for the taking for you. It is just about you letting go of what doesn't serve you, which you know in your the depths of your soul. You know this. So it's time to turn around, turn yourself around, fall in love with you, so that when you bring in this new connection here, it's going to be a match, and you're going to blend to make something beautiful. Okay? So yeah. Aries, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.